Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your smartphone, in particular, my iPhone 15 Pro Max here, to this InnoView portable monitor. And this will apply to other portable monitors as well, but I just want to show you guys how exactly to go about that process so that you can display your phone screen on your portable monitor as well. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So the first item you're going to need to have when trying to connect your portable monitor to your smartphone is you're going to have to have a USB-C cable such as this one that has the speeds capable of transferring video data from your smartphone to the portable monitor. So I have that here and I'll have this cable linked in the description down below so you guys can pick it up in case you need one. The next thing you're going to have to have is you're going to have to have a USB-C power source. And right what this is right here, this is just a retractable USB-C cable. It does not transfer any data. This is only simply a power source to be able to power the monitor because the smartphone itself, the smartphone is not able to be able to power the monitor by itself. With the laptop, you're able to power the monitor with just the USB-C cable this, such as this one coming from the laptop. However, like I mentioned, the smartphone doesn't have the power to power the monitor. So you'll have to have another power source to connect to the monitor to be able to power it on. And then using this cable to be able to provide the data from the phone to the portable monitor. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to disconnect my monitor from the computer. Let me do that now. All right, so I have that disconnected. Now that I have it disconnected, you'll see that I have a couple different inputs down here. I have two USB-C ports, which are on the top here. I'm gonna be using one to transfer the data from my phone to the um, actual portable monitor. This other one's gonna be for the power source. You also have a, a, a HDMI cable here and a micro USB cable there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my power cable and plug it into the power source here. As you can see there. Now we have the monitor powered on. Now I'm going to take the other cable and I'm going to plug it into the other port, the other USB-C port here, like so. All right, so right now you'll see that it's currently waiting for input. Let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. Right now you'll see that it's currently waiting for input. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side of the USB-C cable and plug it into my phone, like so. Just give it a second to connect. And as you can see there, we now have it connected to the phone. Let me actually uh, power it up here, unlock my phone. So now you can see that I now have it connected to my phone. And now you're ultimately able to connect to the monitor and be able to go through and see the iPhone screen or your phone screen on the monitor itself. Very simple and straightforward. If I unplug this, you'll see it simply disconnects just like so. If I plug it back in. Yep, there we go. You'll see that it's now connected. And like I said, you can go to any screen on your smartphone, any of your applications, and all of that will now share from your phone to your portable monitor. And there you have it, guys. As simple as that. We have our smartphone connected to the portable monitor. And as you can see here, I'm able to completely control the portable monitor and display everything that's showing on my smartphone. Very simple process. Remember, it's very important to have your USB-C power source to the monitor itself, and then also have a high data transfer cable, uh, such as this USB-C cable that I have here, to be able to send your information from the phone to the portable monitor. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope it was informational. I hope it's able to help you with setting up your portable monitor to your iPhone or your smartphone. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.